Giddy up. We are playing a Kentucky Derby edition of Who Knew in honor of the big race this Saturday on NBC. Hoda is across the street at the shop at NBC Studios in 30 Rock. She is ready to hand out $100 to anybody who gets the questions right. And today, everyone goes home a winner because each player will receive an NBC Sports Kentucky Derby themed bundle. And you at home can win one too. So play along. Helping me out today from NBC Sports is one of our favorites, Carolyn Mano. Hello, Thank you. darling. Hi. Happy Derby. Yes, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, honey. Thank you. Oh, what a Thanks way to make a living. Me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go right over to Hoda Mama. All right, sweetie, what's your name and where are you from? Patricia, and I live in Washington, D.C. right now. All right, Patricia, let's win some money. The Kentucky Derby is also known as the run for the blank. Roses. Roses! Yeah. 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 Sorry, that's not fair. That's so darn easy. There's a few easy ones this time yeah. around, but the run for the roses is, of course, what it's known as, and it was originally coined in 1925. In 1932, that's when we started to see this beautiful garland of roses yes. that's so iconic. It's 400 roses Perfect sewn roses. beautifully in and draped yeah. over the winter. It's just Yeah, lovely. it's a great moment, isn't yeah, it, in sports? Yeah, it is. All right, hold on, oh Mama. God, so exciting. What's your name and where you're from? Christine from Wisconsin. Come on, Christine. Here we go. What is the official bugle call of the Kentucky Derby known as? Oh. Is it called the call to post, oh. assembly, or retreat? A. She says A. Yay! Another easy one, Carolyn. I know. I'm sorry. I should have. No, I'm happy for everybody. It's, it is called the call to post, and this is the signal where everybody exits the paddock and starts what's called the post parade. A little bit over 10 minutes to race time at this point, and you need to really have everything set if you make bets. And I have a horse for you. Okay. Vino Rosso. Italian for red wine, which I figured was perfect. Did, Congratulations. Does my know about this? <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> on 10 years. So maybe that could be your pick. Grazie, Pre. Mm. All righty. Hold on, Mama. What's your name, sweetie? My name is Melody. And where are you from? I'm from Alternatives for Girls in Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. Here you go. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. You know what that sound means? You're not only playing for yourself, you're also playing for viewers at home. So if you answer it right, five lucky viewers at home will get that whole NBC package. All right, you ready? Yes. What type of liquor is found in the Kentucky Derby's traditional drink of the mint julep? Is it vodka, bourbon, or rum? Bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. This, this is fixed. I'm sorry. And this is great, though, right? I don't know if we've ever been three for three at this point. But, yes, it's bourbon. There's going to be so much consumed. 130,000 over two days at Churchill Downs is the normal estimate. They, and they I think get we're getting sloppy, but they're dressed early. beautifully. Yeah. So. yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, no. <laughs> this is so much fun. All right. Well, I think we have a birthday girl here. What's your name? Hi, Marcy. Marcy, where are you from? San Diego. And what are you celebrating? My 50th birthday. 50! <laughs> Marcy, we got you. Marcy was first in line in the plaza, and you're here with us, and we love you. So here you go. Which actor once had a Kentucky Derby racehorse named after him? Will Smith, John Stamos, or Tony Danza? C. She says C. <laughs> <laughs> That's a total guess, you this can tell. This one was supposed to stump everybody. Yes. Danza from 2014. He was a boss. He finished third in the Kentucky Derby. Oh, and now he's bred to over 200 mares, so he's doing really well. Lucky, I don't know what Tony Danza's horse. up to. So, Tony yeah. Danza's doing that, too. <laughs> by the way, by the way, Regis once had a horse named after him called Run for Regis, and he, and he says it's called Eat for Regis because that's all it did. <laughs> no more? All righty. Thank oh, you, no. Carolyn. That was a high note. Oh, Way to end it on that high note. Regis. All righty. Since our third question was answered correctly, five viewers at home have the chance to win an NBC Sports Kentucky Derby bundle, which includes the official Kentucky Derby mint julep glass, a tote bag, and a $100 gift card. Go to klgandhoda.com to enter. Thank you, darling. All right. And you can catch the Kentucky Derby this Saturday on NBC. Coverage begins at 2.30 Eastern. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.